name's Kristen Daniels, and I'm a technology and innovation coach from Stillwater, Minnesota. Um, I'm here to talk about Flipped PD, flipping your professional development. And what uh, my colleague and I have done is implement uh, Flipped Professional Development over the last two years in Stillwater. And we use video to deliver our content to our teachers, and then we meet with them in a coaching model face-to-face. -face. So why do we do professional development? Teacher is the number one reason, or is the number one factor in student achievement. So we have to remember that in our professional development, is that our focus is on the teacher and in, in increasing their practices, get, getting them to do better things in the classroom. As a tech coach, tech innovation coach, I work with teachers to implement technology in their classroom. Um, as you know, being a teacher or an instructor or a coach these days, and accessing information or trying to use information, I love this quote, it's like trying to get a, take a drink from a fire hydrant. There's so much information out there. So one of my favorite types of videos that we create, uh, and this is where we're like, wow, we are creating different types of videos. We call these spontaneous videos. I use my phone all the time. I use my camera on my computer all the time and my iPad. We're constantly capturing best practices and student success and teacher success. Why? because we need to show it to other teachers. We need to inspire other teachers. We need, to, I say it's like we're the mirrors of the district. How I many of you guys are teachers? And you work in your classroom, it's tough sometimes to know what other teachers are doing. So the coaches are, are the connector. Um, so this, for example, is a video that we captured, actually it's a student video. I'll just go back while I talk. Um, and it's a video that a student created but if you could hear the audio, my colleague is interviewing the student about his project. So the way this happened is the teacher said, oh my gosh, you have to see Carl's video, it's great. It was a very open-ended project on reading. And um, Carl went home and did this stop motion animation video. He took 14,000 pictures one Saturday with his mom and his sister. Um, and it ended up with this, he's a sixth grade student. He's experimenting with that. So my colleague interviewed him. He said, uh, you know, how did you come up with this? What, um, what was your process? Now I share this video with teachers across the district to inspire them to be open-minded about different things that kids can do, um, to show them the talent we have in the district, and um, to just be a reflection of what's going on in the district. Um, so what I do, I'm gonna skip, I'm gonna jump to this slide. I use Google Plus on my phone and I have instant upload. So any picture I take, it's automatically uploaded to the cloud, and that way I can access it from any computer. Um, then I actually create albums. Uh, you can see some here, e-portfolios, mystery Skype, reading portfolios, et cetera, et cetera. So that when I am um, working with a teacher, I actually have uh, something to show them if I've captured that around the district. Um, and it's nice because teachers like to see that. And then I'll close with this. I work with all teachers. And this is the um, um, technology adoption life, uh, life cycle. And basically we have innovators and early adopters in your school. Those are the teachers that will try things right away even before anybody else is using them. We have early majority and late majority. And then I don't like that term, but laggards are teachers who um, really uh, are challenged with uh, adopting new technology. But as a coach, I do deal with all of these different types of teachers. So I've recently discovered a, a theory uh, that was created by a, a gentleman named Jeffrey Moore, and he's a marketer. And, I'm, and I was fascinated with his idea. He said there's a huge gap between our innovators and our early adopters and everybody else. And why? It's because of the way we think about technology. So as a coach, and, and what he was saying, he wrote a book called uh, uh, closing the chasm, he calls this the chasm. Uh, we have to market or we have to work specifically with those different groups of teachers. I'm like, oh my gosh, that's exactly what I do with professional PD or flipped PD. So my idea is that we truly can uh, move, we can close that gap, we can get early majority and late majority teachers to adopt technology or anything sooner uh, by, by personalizing PD. So uh, this is what I'm working on, and I love working with teachers. Um, I truly, truly believe that teachers are courageous, 
and especially when they take risks and try new things, we have found that they are way more likely to do this. Walk out on the tightrope, take risks uh, with the support of a coach. We teach them the skills, we provide the net below them, and they're willing and able to walk out on that tightrope. Uh, we know that success does not look like this on the left, but it looks like this. We give teachers a place to try things, play, fail, and that's truly what personalized PD does, is it allows them to do that. So I thank you guys for sitting and listening. Um, if you want to talk more about uh, flipped professional development, you are welcome to ask questions and stay after. Thank you very much.